So today I'm hanging out with my folks at the local community radio station and we're going to do a live show because that's what they do for fun. Oh, that's right. Okay. Good. That's Colin Hay, Are You Looking At Me? And that was the track, Land of the Midnight Sun. One more track of Colin Hay, and uh, I really love the CD, Are You Looking At Me? Keep an eye out for it. It was released in 2007. One more track. No one knows. And after you say a bit about yourself, we'll be down here for and away. To do that first and then account for some more songs. Okay. Uh, do it, do it, do it. So you can yes. Sure. Do that in the next break. So after, after you've had a break talking about all the things. Okay, that was um, mining the leases. Mining, yes, the mining leases. And do you know enough? Is the October CD release, and that song was sung. Um, and before that, I played good. And what Should, do you think? Well, I would have preferred a song about daughter because I think in ah. honour of my visit today, that would have been far more respectful. I cannot <laughs> believe you um, played a, ah. a ditty about sons, but. All right, fine. I'm I'm doing my faux pas job for you today, unpaid as a trade unionist. And now this. Let's see if I can find a song about stepdaughters. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. I'm sure it'd probably be an angry, vengeful one, but fine. I like a good bit of heavy metal and indie rock. Okay, so we, um, I'm going to hand over to you. We're going to play a band called Rat Cat. And the first song is Tingles. Rat Cat was probably playing around when I was in um, Bombardieri Now growing up, later teens, and playing a lot of music. Well, we thought it was music, but after listening to the bag full of mm. local uh, rock yesterday that my mother nicely exposed me to, we may have been <laughs> equally torturing uh, people on the South Coast. And apologies <laughs> for my um, late teens. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jarvis Bay in the South Coast because <laughs> after yesterday I understand we can always be learning, moaning leases, I'm still learning. Okay, here we go, Rat Cat and Tingles followed by Don't Go Now, 92.7 Bay and Basin FM. Oh, Good. Oh, Brad will like this. <laughs> yeah, he like this. <laughs> Southeast Desert Metal at some stage. You have an end Okay, so 50 mm -hmm. seconds, then you tell them a bit about yourself, what you're down for, okay. and everything. So, can I go now? No. no. Don't go now, no. as Rat Cat said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go now. Yes, Angela. So, um, 
that was a good choice. So now we have, um, a re why are you down here? Apart from, of course, miss Apparently visiting me and my pet rabbit. Well, yes, of course, there's always something to do with the rabbit in our family. For <laughs> yes. as long as I've known it, it is my own fault. I bought the, bought the first bunny for this you family. Did. And ever since my mum seems to have always had a permanent familiar as a rabbit. And I'd yes. like to say I came down for the coffee because there's finally a new coffee shop. And this is not a paid plug, it's just a... Thank you to the Straight to the Point Cafe at the um, Vincentia Garden Centre there that made me coffee this morning. That was really nice. nice. And I brought my parents in coffee so to wake Lovely. everyone up. Lovely. Now I'm down for um, yeah. the Australian Services Union uh, having their national conference in Darling Harbour this week and I mm. had a few extra days so I was able to come down the coast and provide free labour in contrast, as I say, as a trade unionist to my faux pas today. <laughs> huh. Huh. <laughs> and uh, we uh, collaborate across Australia. It's a, Australia, it's a federal body of uh, uh, union bodies across different areas and mine's Queensland, we're the Queensland body of our union. Uh, we're called the Together Union and I represent the public sector group in Queensland where I will, at the moment we're in our core EB, Enterprise Bargaining for a, a fair day's pay for a fair day's work, where we uh, organise what allowances we will have next time, mm -hmm. uh, our, our pay scales, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's about, I guess, treating people equally, fairly, and people feeling safe at work and in you know a better workplace. So I take it pretty seriously. I do enjoy it. It's uh, an important event. and. I'm very lucky that I get to represent this week in Darling Harbour uh, for my body in Queensland. Oh, that's wonderful. What a good cause. I hope so. <laughs> yes, most certainly. Thank you. Okay, Angela, you wanted to play now Killing Heidi? Yeah, please, some Killing Heidi. That was a, a nice Aussie group that I loved the, the lead female singer. She was pretty incredible and I really did like them. They were a small indie group and they were great for their time. Yeah. Great, okay. You're listening to 92.7 Bay and Basin. We've got our um, guest speaker in today for a while, uh, Angela from Cairns. And uh, we're still on. I'm Sherry and I'm still on and Gary's still on and you're listening to Down Under and... If you'd like to make an Australian request to fit in a bit later, triple four three nine six double four. Okay, here we go. We're killing Heidi. Yeah. Yes. And listen to Gary and Sherry down under in top Oh, you've got a an alarming rate due to pesticides, parasites, disease, and habitat loss. Without pollination by bees, our whole food chain is up. Hi, it's Angie, back with my faux pas and my real ma. And you were listening to Killing Heidi before, The Weir. And I actually was lucky enough to see Killing Heidi when they released their, I believe it was their first album, and it was certainly oh. the one that had those two songs on it. Yeah. They uh, played virtually a sit-down small room, we watched them one night in Sydney and had a great evening. And live as a band, a uh, brother-sister with uh, the rest of the group, phenomenal. They were fantastic, worth every dollar, and I bought one of their CDs from them as they were selling off a, a table in that room that night. They were that small. Bought that CD home, and I still have it. Love it. Oh, that's Ella and Jess, uh, Jess Hooper, huh? Yes, the Hoopers. <laughs> yes. And apparently in 2016, it was announced the band would be reforming to celebrate its 20th anniversary. Oh, thanks for pointing out how old I am. I really <laughs> needed that today. <laughs> you sure it wasn't a few years ago? It really only feels a few years ago. Uh, it creeps up on you, I guarantee you. <laughs> 20 years older than you think you are. Dang it. As long as I don't look it, I suppose I'm okay with no, that. you don't look it yet. <laughs> no, no. And what do you need? You need some... Mascara. Oh, mascara. Always a bit more mascara. Uh -huh. <laughs> 927 if you'd like to ring in an Aussie request. And that was Mascara from Killing Heidi. And that was number one on the ARIA singles chart. Okay, as I said, you're listening to 92.7 Bay and Basin FM, your community radio. 
and over to Angie for a community a service announcement. Today, now I'm doing my mum's job as well as my faux pas job today. Again, I'd like to point out, not paid a cent. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for youth and adult members. Well, apparently, as they pointed out, I'm no longer young, but I'm certainly an adult. It's wonderful. I really like that diversity. Uh, what would your responsibilities be, you're asking yourself? Well, you'd assist with the PCYC Shoalhaven to raise funds for local young people and programs. Join today, have your say. That's me. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, now another one of your choices of Australian music is The Waifs. Oh, The Waifs. Great, mm -hmm. folky kind of band. I wished we had Shiny Apple for people out there that know The Waves today, but we couldn't unfortunately get it. And what do we end up picking, Mum? Um, when I Die, followed by How Many Miles. When I Die. What an uplifting ditty that sounds. <laughs> let's, let's give that a spin. <laughs> cool. When I Die, The Waves. Thanks, love. Alright, so we signed it off. Yeah. Do, I That's not my signature. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you this place is <laughs> absolutely feral here. Go go dancing, Sherry Nancy. And apparently there's a, a special way you've got to dance. Um, there is a definite Radio Birdman way of dancing and I'm out of breath from it. I love how Stevie Dano, and of course if you remember that was Hawaii 5 -0. That usually means you've just gotten busted or arrested. So you might need a good lawyer. Here's the cruel C. 92.7 down under, triple four three nine six double four. any southern hemisphere request. We'll play it if we've got Five feet long for our US friends. Oh, no, thank you. That is what you call a giant Good show, Mum. Good show. Fun show. show. So we're looking forward Fly to down all and about do it with a to Japan. time. <laughs> 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 92 <laughs> 7 FM if you guys want to tune now, in. Really listen. From our chat with Prue. So they sell eggs or give eggs away? Oh, okay. How yeah, wonderful. Chickens in here as well. My friend Ange at work has her own and she's having to get more, mm. not even joking, because the Sicilian community considers them, well, eggs from real chickens, which is kind of funny because I have to explain, I think most eggs come from chickens, <laughs> yes. but they say the real chickens, the ones that are like living in a free home and stuff, they're healing. So they've been giving them mostly, buying them for one lady that's got cancer and okay. I, she can't keep up enough, like I'm buying oh. four to six crates a week. Hello chookies, as usual. Oh there you are girls, lovely chookies. That's Ooh, a lovely idea. Them. Yeah, it's beautiful. They've it's a great them. use. I don't know if you can see it. Attention, foxes <laughs> frequent this area. And how's this for recycling? These are rolled off the um, <gasps> oh, Yeah, they're off the um, Filing cabinets. Filing cabinets that are, I won't open it. Nesting for the chooks. So, so Mum, tell me a little bit about this place. What is it? Men's shed or men's what? Men's shed, it's, um, and it's aged care as well. It's all, and the radio station are under, all under one umbrella organisation. And is it co totally community funded and volunteers basically? Uh, the management and especially in the aged care uh, mm -hmm. are actually paid government uh, Import employees. Certified and yes. qualified of course by standards yes. in Australia and but this radio station and the men's shed which is like a community group that do building projects. Right, yes. 
Um, yes, it's it's run by uh, well, Brad, our manager. He is a paid government organiser. Yep. And I think he's got like two or three, maybe six offices. But all the um, all the announcers and all the people that work in the garden are all volunteers. It's um, what a great the idea. Shed is wonderful for especially for men of age because a lot of men when they're older they tend to sit at home and get isolated whereas women because we talk socialize quite so isolated what a fantastic idea and the vegetables and what's grown they sell it or yes. use it in the aged care home maybe for yes um quite often we'll come to uh, do a show and out on the table will be all this fresh produce and we just pay a little bit for it it's it's beautiful beautiful um i organic um, yes and all organic yeah composted yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. The labour of love. And I do know we've got a men's shed up in Cairns near oh. where I live in Oval, but I didn't actually understand, and maybe you didn't either, what they do and what the purpose is. And thanks, Mum. I feel like I had a fun day, and it's really nice to know there's somewhere for people to go at your community radio station. And for men, go to your men's shed. Hook in. Yes. Sounds great. Yes. Band. The pirates who yes, are. Yes. Do, what do they ride? Drive the he, ride boat the he, big seas or? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>